Hey everybody, good morning. It's Tuesday morning, October the 2nd. Um, too bad we're not feeling fall weather, even though we're into the fall month. I hope everybody's had a great week so far. Um, I'm doing this video right here, uh, mainly to keep myself accountable and uh, hold up hold a promise to myself. I did a video last Tuesday and talked about um, Transformation Tuesday and how I needed to make changes in my life and I knew what those changes were and I'd been successful with changes in the past as far as my weight goes and just did not stick to them and I come on here last week and I asked you guys to hold me accountable and help me hold myself accountable to make these changes and to um, be more successful in losing this weight where I could have the surgery I need and get my health back where I need it to be. I need to be active and I need to be out and I hate missing. I have missed marching season this year so far and it is halfway over. I am very upset by that. My, I'm just not been able to go feel good. I haven't felt them. You know, um, my scooter being down has not helped. So that right there is my mode of transportation as far as around con uh, games and contests and things. And, I just know that physically I'm not able to do the walking and the uh, sitting in the heat. That's another thing that I'm just not able to really do well. So but I did it. I told myself I'd do these videos and I'd go live and hold myself accountable and have you hold me accountable for transformation. Let me talk about a little bit of what I've done in the last week. Um, kind of got a slow start. Hey, Samantha, thanks for joining me. Um, kind of got a slow start going on with my transformation, but I have, I have, Increase the amount of bottled water or water and bottled water I'm drinking. This right here is flavored, but it's flavored with a. Um, hey Nicole, thanks for joining me. It's flavored with a uh, flavored packet that uh, had no calories or anything like that. Um, so uh, that helps me, and especially the carbs. I don't need carbs, so I'm trying to cut out carbs. So I'm trying to get rid of any sugar drink. I have to do that very carefully. Um, unfortunately, I'm a caffeine addict. So I have to cut my caffeine as much as I as little as, as I can to keep so getting rid of sodas and tea slowly but surely, uh, keeping them in mainly for the caffeine. And then this has some caffeine in it, so that helps. So those are some of the things I'm doing: and drinking more water, trying to be more accountable that way, which also helps me considering I have some uh, urinary problems and things like that. So the the water helps with that. Um, We've also started trying to cut our portions, more manage time we eat. We're bad to eat late at night simply because we're on the go between band practice, Susan working, other things we've got going on. We eat a lot late at night and then we go to bed. And then, as you know, you eat late at night, you go to bed, you go to sleep, your body doesn't have the time to. Uh, to burn those calories that you've just taken in, so they go straight, they go straight to your stores, and that turns into fat. Yes, Samantha, we we did low carb, and I actually had lost about twenty pounds uh, earlier this year back during uh, doing low carb, and we kind of just got away from the low carb thing. We were actually eating a lot of uh, vegetables. We were doing. Um, Instead of rice, we you know I love rice and love rice dishes. We love chicken and rice. We were doing a cauli uh, cauliflower rice. Um, I ate a lot of eat a lot of Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. Uh, broccoli was another thing we were eating a lot of. And uh, I did Body for Believers back several years ago, and that was one of the things they told us was that broccoli is one of the best things you can eat, especially if you eat it raw because it burns a ton of calories just digesting the broccoli and that um so we're trying to get back into that um i just have a real bad weakness for pasta potatoes and uh bread and things like that and i just have got to overcome that weakness and that that's my that's my weakness and that's something that i'm gonna have to hold myself more accountable for to to get rid of the potatoes especially we like baked potatoes simply because you can pop them in the oven Go about whatever you're doing and then in a few hours they're ready and it's just something quick and easy that we can throw together but we've got to get away from that throwing things together at the last minute 
Um, we're trying to work toward with our grocery buying and our time wise, we're trying to work on doing meal prep, prepping good healthy meals ahead of time that we can just take out and heat up or whatever need be. And that's something that we've got to work on and something that we haven't have in our plan. Um, uh, but you know how they say the best laid plans are mice and men. Um, but it is it is on our goals, and it's in my, my you know. And I'm just that's why I'm going to come here weekly. I'm going to talk about the things that I'm going to do, I'm doing. I'm going to ask for suggestions, and I'm going to ask everybody here to hold me accountable and help me make these changes that I need to make. Um, when I go to Dr. Chad next month, I'm going to talk to him about several different things that I've seen. Um, the dose of coffee that I've seen everybody uh, talk about. I've, ta I've seen several different things, and we're going to talk about plans and and things that he thinks will, and supplements and things that he thinks that I can take and that will help me uh, because we're working this together. And um, there is a free uh, ther uh, therapist at the uh, Maple Clinic where the, that Maple provides for its uh, employees. I had started to see her, then she kind of got out of the office for two months and things, just, but we're going to, I'm going to start going back to her and we're going to meet weekly and we're going to talk about goals and she's going to help me um, overcome the emotional parts of my eating and get to the root of why I'm overeating. So there are lots of plans that I have in store and I just ask that all of you help me stay accountable and pray for me in this journey, and um, I will be in prayer for you. I hope everybody has a great Tuesday and a blessed day. I'm going to get off here, eat my uh, little bit of breakfast that I got this morning, and then see what else I can get myself into for the day. Have a blessed day, everyone.